All right. Hey guys, Matt here from DSA CNJ and Club Dreams. Got a special guest here today. I got one of our interns, Sarah. Sarah, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I am doing well. So I am here in New Jersey, Robbinsville. We got a nice 80 degree day. Uh, not too overcast, pretty humid. Uh, Sarah, where are you right now? I'm in Southern California in LA and it happens to be overcast. Look at that. So she's all the way out on the West Coast and we're here on the East Coast. So uh, thank you for, you know, coming to our YouTube channel, checking out our top soccer session that we're going to do today. Now, top soccer is actually the outreach soccer program that the New Jersey Youth Soccer Association has been running for a number of years. Now, the exciting thing why we're running it is because we are the first Mercer County program in their history of running top soccer. So at Club Dreams, we'll be doing this year round. So a nice, exciting thing that's offered to you when you're at Club Dreams. Now, today we're getting you outside to do some basic soccer drills that you can do either outside, down in your basement, or going out to a park. Point of it is just for you to get out and get active. Now, before we get started, there's a couple things you need that are, you know, things you have around the house. The first thing we need you to have is a bottle of water. Sarah, how important is it to hydrate during this? It's always important. You want to stay healthy and stay active. That's right. Healthy and stay active. So make sure you have your bottle of water, okay? Now, the next thing is you need Sneakers, please wear sneakers and make sure you tie them nice and tight. We don't want loose laces because if you trip, it's not going to be a good situation. So nice shoes, could be soccer cleats. If you have soccer cleats, great, put those on. And lastly, of course, you need a soccer ball. The thing that I like about soccer is you don't necessarily need a soccer ball. It could be an old basketball. It could be a bouncy ball. It could be any ball. Any ball that you have, you can use that for soccer today. Now, the other thing that's a small thing is you might see we have cones here. Cones, if you have them, that's a great tool to use for these drills. Or you could be like Sarah, who has Sarah. What's your setup? I have um, some old textbooks, some reading books, and a case of golf balls as my cones. Look at that. Creative. Be creative. You don't have cones. That's perfectly fine because you can grab old clothes, old books, uh, golf balls, toys, anything you have, grab those, bring them outside, and you can use those for this. Now, before we get started, the most important thing we need to do is get a good stretch in. This will be a quick, basic stretch. Now, first thing we're going to do is going to wiggle out our arms. Oh, we're going out and we're going to just touch our toes. Give a little love. Touch the toes. We're going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Now, we're going to stretch our legs out. And we're going to go down to the right. Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Go to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Go to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Now, we're going to just do the upper body a little bit. We're going to take our right arm, go across our chest to the left. Take our left arm, hook over, and count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Shake it out. Take the left arm, cross over our right. Take our right arm, hook over. One, two, three, four, five. All right, all good, shaking it out. Now, we're gonna get a little active. We're gonna get a little run in. So if you're in your backyard, find an area where you can run up and down six times. If you're in the basement, find an open area where you can do some quick runs up and down. And if you're at the park, well, you have a whole ton of space. So use as much space as you can. Me and Sarah, we're going to find an area that's safe and open. 
and we're gonna go up and down six times, taking our time. It doesn't have to be a sprint, just a nice little jog. Here we go. Nice and good. Now, time to get a little hydration in. So let's get a little water. Woo! All right, Ooh, that's good. All right, now we're gonna get to why we're here, some soccer. So, Sarah, please, what do you have for us? So I'm going to do this thing where you take your ball and go back and forth between your feet like this. This is to practice control. And you can pick up your pace once you get the hang of it, but it's just to kind of get the ball at your feet and to get comfortable with the ball. Woo. All right. Woo. All right, that's great. Woo. Now what do we what do we have next? Um toe taps. Your toe taps. Okay, yeah. Take the ball and you just tap the top of it with and switch legs. Go back and forth. Now guys, when you're doing this, you can take your time. You have to go slow, that's fine. And you'll notice the more you go slower, the more you get faster. All right. Now, with toe taps also, Something to get the ball going. So, a way of stopping the ball is literally just putting the bottom of your foot on top of the ball, just like Sarah was showing us with the toe taps. But let's put our foot on top of the ball, bring it into us, and kick out. So, to show that again, we're going to stop bring it in, and kick. Now the reason why we want to kick is because we'll get in a little bit of a run. So, stop, bring it in, kick. Now, as time goes on, you'll get a little quicker with just kicking it and bringing it in. Now, the hard thing, try it with your opposite leg. Now, I'm a righty. Sarah, are you a righty or lefty? I'm righty. Righty. All right. So for us, doing the left is kind of tough. So utilize both legs. Go it in, bring it, kick it out. All oh, right. Now, Sarah, what do you have for us next? So we're going to practice with the outside of our foot. So it's just kind of going in a circle, but dribbling with the outside of your foot. Okay. And you can switch legs once you start getting comfortable. You can go to your left. You need to do the after a while, so you want to go slow.
All right. Woo. All right, now, guys, this is a good time to get some water. Mm. All right, now, here's a fun thing I like. I like doing juggles. So, it's very rare when we're touching the soccer ball, but we're gonna have it in our hand. Now, with the flat part of our femur right here, we're just going to hold the ball and we're going to knee the ball. Now, you can hold it and get used to kneeing it. Then, you'll notice as you're kneeing the ball, moving in your hands. So, when you're ready, you can let the ball go as it's hitting your knee. You can catch. Just like that. Now, the fun thing is, I know we have our hands out to catch the ball, but let's keep our hands out. Let's close our eyes. See how well we do kneeing the ball. So hard to do because as you're kneeing the ball, you're trying to wonder where the ball is going to catch it. But if you're keeping your body straight, and your knee straight should always know where the ball is. Whew. All right. So, what do you got for us? Um, so we can practice like dragging the ball. So, with the top of your, your foot or the uh, your bottom of your foot goes to the top of the ball, and you're just dragging it along. Oh. You're dragging it sideways. Yeah. You practice with different feet. Oh, yeah. I like this one. I've never tried this before. That's another thing, guys. I hope a lot of what you're doing is new for you. Because for me, I have played soccer a long time, but never thought about dragging. Look at that. And the way Sarah explained it was actually really nice because all you're doing is slowly doing the top of the ball, like she said, and then pushing it to the opposite side. All right. Now, before we start getting into the cones, get another drink of water. All right. Now, if you already set up your cones, or if you were very creative, like Sarah, who has textbooks, golf bags, little items outside, which is great. What we're gonna do is if you set up your station, we want you to set it up zigzag. Now, it's okay if you don't have that many cones out. The more the better, or the shorter, the faster you gotta go. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna zigzag and use the same drag method Sarah taught us to get to each cone. So again, guys, when you're dragging, like Sarah said, top the ball 
and move your foot either inwards or the outwards direction. Now, this will help us because there's no race. Or if you want, you can have your siblings outside with you with a stopwatch on a phone or just a clock and you can time yourself and see who has the better time. But for us, we're just gonna run through the zigzag drill. So, for me, I only have five cones. Sarah, do you have a little bit more than five? How, how, many, uh, how many cones or how many cones do you have? Six. Six, okay. So she has a little bit more than me, which is good. That's good. So again, the number based off how many cones you can set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from one cone, dribble up, drag, and go to the next cone. Now, you can make your cones inward skinny, or you can make them as wide as you want. For me, I made them a little bit thinner. So just work in the cones. And then I'm going to go the opposite way. Now, we're only going to go maybe four times total each way. And the point of this is just to work on the same thing Sarah taught us. A little bit of the dribbling, the dragging, and the tapping the ball to stop it so we can control it. I use the little outward method that Sarah taught me, which is working great, really quick. Now, you might do what I just did. I just flipped my cone over. That's okay. We want to work on that, though, to make sure that doesn't happen as time goes on. But again, this is all about just getting outside, having a little fun, working on the skills that Sarah has taught us, and a little of the drills that I have come up with. But the ones Sarah came up with were very good for the dribbling, for the basic skills of soccer. I'm gonna go one more time. All right. Sarah, how was that for you out of Cali? It was good. Yeah. Whew. Oh, man. All right. Well, guys, I, you know, I think we did about maybe 15 or 20 minutes, maybe a little bit more of some soccer. But what we're going to do now is we're going to get a nice stretch, you know, because we did a lot. Now, again, these are just the start of some things we will be doing in top soccer as the summer goes on. This is just your introduction. So I know if you're like, ah, I want more, that's totally fine. But for right now, we're going to stretch it out. So we'll go back with touching our toes. Feel that stretch in our calves, all the way down in our legs. One, two, three, four, five. Stretch out our legs. Go down to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Go to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Go to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Wiggle it out. Take our right arm. Go over our left. Left arm, hook over. One, two, three, four, five. Take our left over our right, right. Hook the left. One, two, three, four, five. And lastly, 
going to give ourselves a big hug. We're social distancing, but we can at least love ourselves. Big hug. You'll feel this in your back, which will feel nice. Ah, and that's all. That is all we got. So, yeah, how do you, how do you think that went? I think it went really well. Yeah, and guys, again, I know a lot of you are probably like, wait, that's it? Like I said before, this is just the start. This is a nice little intro of Top Soccer. Now, as Tom goes on, Sarah, who's also a marketing intern for us, is actually going to be our athletic director. So she'll be managing more of the things that we'll be doing with Top Soccer as we go through the summer. So don't worry. Sarah's going to work on some stuff. I'm going to work on some stuff with Sarah. We're going to have a lot more. All right. Now, the one thing I do want to mention is that this video is going to be up on our YouTube channel. So on the top right here, you have our Facebook where you can submit your clips of you actually playing outside soccer. So when you're doing this, have somebody record you, even if it's like for a minute or two, send that clip onto our Facebook group, send it to our Instagram, which is right up here, Club Dreams 321 our YouTube channel that you see up here, DSA, CNJ, Club Dream, or email your clips. Email any of the things you're doing soccer related, even if you did stuff more advanced or different than what we did, because that might be something we incorporate as time goes on, which is great for me and Sarah, because it shows us what level you guys are at and if we need to turn it up a little bit. But other than that, I really want to thank Sarah Thank you for, you know, doing this with me from sunny California. Really appreciate it. And for me, again, guys, if also you want to reach out to us and you're interested in different programs other than sports like Top Soccer, if you're interested in the art, music, and dance stuff that we're doing, buddy to buddy sessions, uh, any academic stuff, anything like that, we have all of our interns have been working on preparing programming just for you guys. But you just have to reach out to us. So again, reach out to us by email, which is right up here, clubdreams at dsacnj.org. So reach out if you need us. But other than that, from Sarah and myself, we hope you have a wonderful Friday, a wonderful weekend with beautiful weather here on the East Coast and beautiful weather in the West Coast. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.